Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Friday, April 24th, and it's 5.46 p.m. I wanted to share with you, um, a lot of you watch Cameron, uh, what is his last name? He changed the name of his channel to Saving Lives, LLC. And now... Uh, Dawn is sharing some of his messages in her letter. So I wanted to share this one with you. It's called Now I Come, Saving Lives, LLC. Tell your mother, your brother, your child, your friend, that the Messiah is ready to receive his bride and sweep her off of her feet into this place that I and my Father have prepared for you. Verily I say unto you, this is your Lord. This is your Lord who speaks to you this day. Open your mouths and proclaim my coming to the four corners of the earth, that all may hear the Spirit of the Lord cry out, You, my bride, I have loved. You, my bride, have never been alone. In your darkest hour, surely I was there holding your hand. Don't live by emotions, rather belief, for by belief all things are possible. How can one view the world and say in their heart, the Messiah won't come back? How can one give up their belief in me? when I've had such mercy and spake with them. Is this the life you desire to have? I've been gracious and you turned me away. Verily I say unto you, when you stand before me, I will deny you before my Father and cast you into utter darkness where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I've been gracious. I've tarried. Now I come. And he doesn't have a scripture below his. And, um, let's see. I wanted to share... This last one also. Now, listen to this. April 24th, 2020 is when this one... This, the one from Cameron doesn't have a date as to when he received it, but I'm sure it was real recent. Okay, today of all days, April 24th, I want you to know how much... You are loved by me. Nothing you have ever done, past, present, or future, can change that. Yes, my love is eternal and it can span time going backwards and forwards. I adore you, and there is no one exactly like you. I want you to celebrate yourself today. Look in the mir mirror and see the work of art I created. You are loved. That is for somebody. Some people... Love others, they can love God, but they have a hard time loving themselves. And Jesus said to love your neighbor as yourself. 
You can't have this self-loathing because you committed some, oh, maybe you had an abortion, or maybe because you divorced and remarried a lot like I have. And believe me, I've beat myself up over it. You have to learn to forgive yourself and know that God loves you. That doesn't mean he's going to let you into the kingdom of heaven if you're unholy. But he, you know, the other day, I wanted to share this with you because the other day I was like really crying over my dog. And I thought, Lord, how can you stand it? When people die and they're not coming to heaven. I know I'll see my dog again. But you'll never see them again. Unless you want to look into the pits of hell. And he'll see them at the final judgment. After the millennial reign. They'll be pulled up out of hell. And they'll get their final judgment. Based on their deeds. So perhaps, I'm thinking, I'm wondering, y'all please feel free to leave your comment. Have you, have you ever pondered, is it possible, maybe I need to revisit that scripture, but doesn't he... Doesn't he separate the sheep from the goats again? I'm wondering if people who've like been in hell, not the lake of fire now, they're in, in hell and that's a different place. If they are judged by their deeds, then it, that tells me some will not have it as bad as others. And I'm wondering if some will end up in heaven. But maybe won't have the rewards we've had. They've, they've been through the fire. You could say for the last thousand years. Millennial reign. They get the second resurrection. They stand before the Lord. And they've been a good person. Did good deeds. But either nobody could really convince them that you were the Savior or whatever. And I think those that have to go into the lake of fire, it's like he says, this is the second death. So doesn't that tell you that they die? They're, they are no more? I've pondered on this before. Even though it says that the, the smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever. It's a sad thing to think about. But let's just keep praying for our loved ones. I just beg God, please God. Please give everybody a dream, a vision, a message, a sign, a supernatural sign that they know it is you trying to reach them. And if they still turn away, and then we come back and maybe they're still alive, maybe we can help them. You know, I just pray that. I pray that so much. I don't want to see God lose one single person because he loves us more than we could love our own children, our spouse. And look how much that hurts us when they die, especially if we don't know where they're going. How much more so does our Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died for us, died for everybody. How do you think he feels when people die knowing they're not coming to heaven? Knowing he has to let them go to hell because they're unholy 
wouldn't repent, wouldn't accept him as Savior. Maybe that'll help you when you pray to remember the lost and the lukewarm. Pray for them, brothers and sisters. Let us not see the devil get one more person. If we all come together in prayer about this, perhaps we can snatch several from the fire. The scripture for this is from the King James Version. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And that's a scripture frequently used by the once saved, always saved group. You... Nothing can separate us from the love of God. But he is a just and merciful God. And he tells us over and over in his word to obey his commands. To love him most. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you love me, you will obey my commandments and so on and so forth. Nothing unholy will enter into the kingdom of heaven. So that doesn't mean he's not going to see a whole lot of folks he loves go to hell. And let's pray that that doesn't happen. Because when you've got lots of people praying for the same thing, I mean diligently, really praying, it will mean more. Okay, I'm going to end this here. Did I say this was given to Robin Robinson Bolin? Okay. Oh, sorry, my head is uh, uh, down at the bottom again. I've got my laptop on my knee because the sun is so shiny. I had to find one spot where I, you could actually see me and it wasn't half blotted out with the sunshine. Which is good. Okay, so I will end this here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this message, over the words given, over my um, the video so it will go up, my computer, the internet connection, oh, uh, over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. Okay. I pray for you each and every night. I hope you still pray for me. And um, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.